Happy November 1st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy met with Master Laurel and Captain Flint. They were happy to hear that we have the Seed of Life, but they were preoccupied arguing about whether and where to deploy Crown Spire's soldiers. Captain Flint is still worried about war with the insects. Master Laurel is worried about the safety of the city in the face of the growing problem with feral critter attacks. Ivy sided with Master Laurel and managed to convince Captain Flint to assign the troops to the city to protect against the feral critters. As a result, we got a key phrase here, protect the city. And that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. After visiting the courtyard where the critters gather to pray through the night, you roam the city for a moment of quiet thought. Explore the city at night. I do not see any hidden icons here. Um, okay, let's see what we've got. The Early Worm Tavern and Inn. You have the option to spend five amber to take a rest. Um... I don't think we need it. We're down a couple of hit points, but that's it. Well, it would heal our party members. And they have taken some damage. Okay, let's do that. We'll spend 5 Amber. That takes us to 62. And Ivy goes to full health. As well as our injured or tired party members. What is that? So Vinny gets a health back and I thought there was more than that kit. Surely there's somebody else. Maybe the Baron. Oh, and uh, Seskel. Okay. That's that. Uh, restore health, restore party members, regain ex uh, abilities. I think we're good. Okay. Candles. Um... Although it is late at night, some children sit on the sidewalk outside their apartment, selling candles for the vigil. Would you like to light a candle for our queen? These are magic candles. When lit with a prayer, it will help the queen get better. It's only one amber. Inspect the candles. <laughs> D20 plus intellect, reminder arcane adept. We get a 9 plus 2, intellect is 11. We are not an arcane adept, nor do we have one. If the result is 11 or more, this is the best result. While not inherently magical, these candles offer critters some hope. These children believe it hard enough that you can sense some delicate hint of arcane energy present. Perhaps one of the pups will grow up to be a powerful magician. Will you light a candle for one amber? Absolutely. All right, six. that takes us to... 61 amber. If yes, remove one amber from your inventory. Gain one virtue. The <laughs> children smile and wish you a good evening. Okay, so we are up to 13 virtue. And we're off the charts. Char the slider or the tracker here only goes to plus 10. <laughs> we're at 13. Um, okay, thief. You hear a shattering of glass in the distance and follow the noise to discover a thief rummaging around in a store, taking advantage of the empty streets while critters are out at the vigil. We have a choice. We can threaten the thief and demand he put down the stolen goods. We can threaten the thief to have him hand over half his loot. <laughs> or we can attack the thief. Now... Both of these previous rolls are intimidating, and the calendar doesn't like intimidating. Um, so, but, but I, I don't know, it usually doesn't like us fighting them either, so I don't think the calendar's really given us a good option here, so I'm going to read the results. <laughs> um, okay, it looks like the best option is, the worst option, <laughs> virtue-wise, would be to uh, threaten the thief that he give you that he give us half his loot, and I don't. I, the Ivy has no temptation to do that. I think. Um, I think I don't think she would just attack him. 
I think she would threaten the thief and demand he put down the stolen goods. Whether the calendar thinks that's righteous or not. Um, so we would, uh, we're going to do that. That's a strength roll. Reminder, intimidating. That's 10. Plus 3 strength is 13. Plus 2 intimidating is 15. That's the best result. The thief puts away the goods and then flees. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, bells. While walking, you hear a chiming of the bells. The only other critter on the street halts in their tracks and looks up at the bells with you. At this hour, it can only mean one dreadful thing. Queen Enid Sagebloom lost the fight for her life and passed away. From the distance, you can hear an uproar of crying and sobbing from the critters in the courtyard. Well, that's a sad way to end the day. But that, my friends, is November 1st. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.